I'm Lauren with Vacuum Cleaner Market. Congratulations, you have just purchased the Mila C3 Complete Cat and Dog. I love this vacuum, I'm so partial to white vacuums. Uh, but anyway, this vacuum is amazing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tell you a little bit about um, every single thing that you should have in your box. I'm gonna walk you through in a little bit more in depth about each of those items. I'm gonna show you how to change your bags and your filter, and then I'm gonna show you how to assemble and use your vacuum cleaner. So what I want you to do right now is take this time to unbox everything and get it all out on a flat surface and then come back to this video because then I'm gonna show you what you should have. So now that you have everything out of your box, you should have your canister body, you should have your electric telescoping wand, your hard flooring parquet attachment, your turbo upholstery attachment, your electric carpeting power head, and your hose, and your hose and your handle are already attached and combined, so you just need to make sure you have your hose. So any of the, oh, and you're, I'm sorry, you're also gonna have three manuals. You're gonna have one manual for your vacuum cleaner, you're gonna have one manual for the handheld turbo, and then you're gonna have another manual for your electric carpeting power head. So you should have all three manuals as well. So now that we verified all of the components that are present, now I'm gonna tell you a little bit about each one of them and what they do and how to use them. So first off, I'm gonna start with your electric telescoping wand. So how this telescopes is there is a button on the back portion of your wand. You're gonna press that and you're gonna pull it out. So this is how you extend your wand. This is going to add added length and reach to whatever you're trying to clean. So if you're trying to clean high ceilings, um, door jams, um, get the cobwebs, the windows, um, if you're going for a lower under the beds, this is gonna give you the added length and the reach that you're gonna need. So just to retract it, you're simply going to just pull it together. So that's how your electric wand. And then this is your hard flooring parquet attachment. This attachment will twist and turn. This thing gets all around your furniture, nooks and cr uh, crannies. It lays flat. It's a very nice um, hard flooring attachment and it has bristles of varied lengths. So it grabs everything. It's amazing on pet hair. It gets deep down in the any tile grout that you may have, any cracks and crevices on your hard flooring. This is my favorite tool that Mila makes. I love this hard flooring attachment. So now you can just vacuum and mop. So it's a huge time saver. So you're gonna love this attachment. This is your handheld turbo attachment. This can be used on the end of your wand or on the base of your handle, and I'll show you how to do that. This is to clean any upholstered surfaces you have. It's great on stairs and it's excellent in the car. So if you are a fellow pet owner, you are going to love this tool. I think that these two will always remain my favorite for Mila. So this is your electric carpeting power head. And if you are behind your power head as I am, there's two different levers that you're gonna see. So one is gonna release your wand from your upright lock position. The other one is gonna change your height setting on your power head. So level one is going to be the closest to your carpeted surfaces. Level five is gonna be the furthest away. What I recommend you do is you start on level five and you work your way down, you're gonna want to get to the proper height where you are pushing your vacuum. You're, you're just steering basically. You don't have to manually force your carpeting attachment across your carpeted surfaces. So there is an, uh, the, this has its own electric um, motor inside of it. So it's separate from your canister motor. So this head is very, very powerful. So if you are struggling to push this off your, on your carpeted surfaces, then you have your wrong height setting. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna press this lever and you will either go up or down. And that is gonna how you're gonna adjust this brush roll height setting. Again, start on level five, work your way down to something that's very, very easy to push and steer across, but is also picking up every single thing that is in its path. And then this lever is going to release your wand from your upright lock position. So then that is how you can clean. So that is really nice to know. And then you have your hose and your handle. And on your handle, 
What I want to show you is that your handle has an X and an O on your handle. So this X is going to turn this spinning brush roll on. The O is going to turn it off. So the reason I'm mentioning this to you is because if you have a rug that has tassels or you have a rug that is delicate that you cannot use a spinning brush roll on, make sure you turn your spinning brush roll off so you're not damaging that carpeting. And then when you're back to your normal cleaning, turn back on your spinning brush roll. So that's a really great feature that all of the Mila electric canisters have is gives you the full ability to control exactly what you're cleaning, which I love. So I'm going to show you how to find your model number and your serial number and the name of your vacuum cleaner. And the reason I'm telling you this is because you should know what your name or the model number of your vacuum is. And then that will help us help you in the long run because we will be able to show you or tell you how you know, what bags will work with your machine, what HEPA filter, what charcoal filter to get, um, and then any additional accessories that you may need if they're gonna be compatible. So the name of your Mila is on the front portion right underneath the Mila logo. And so it's gonna say cat and dog. And I'm gonna flip the vacuum around. And on the bottom portion, there's a silver sticker. And I want you to pay attention to two things. There's a model number, which is gonna start with S, and it's gonna be followed by either letters or numbers or a combination of both. That's your model number. And then below that is going to be your serial number. And your serial number starts with a zero, zero slash, and then this nine digit number. And that nine digit number is going to be what you use to register your machine. And then for any warranty purposes in um, the long run, it's gonna help you, um, be, help us be able to, you know, honor that warranty purposes. So your model number and your serial number are on the bottom of your machine. And then your name is on, the name of your machine is on the front portion. So on the front portion of your machine, you have your power button, which will turn your vacuum on and off. You have your cord winder button, which once you unplug it from the wall, then you can push that button and it'll retract your cord all the way into the canister body so your cord is stored inside your canister and you don't ever have to worry about winding a cord again. It's a very nice feature. And then there's a plus and a minus button. And the plus and the minus button control your suction settings. So if I'm going from left to right, you're gonna start at minimum and we're gonna go up to maximum. I'm gonna show you what all of these mean. So you're gonna start at minimum, which is over here. That's for your drapery, any very delicate things that you would like to clean. Then you have your upholstery setting. Then you have your um, area rug setting. The ear symbol is your suction setting that operates your vacuum at a lower decibel level or a lower sound. So if you have pets that are very sensitive to the sound of the vacuum cleaner or if your children are sleeping, you wanna clean while they're napping, um, this is a great setting to be on because it just makes your vacuum a little bit less noisy. Mila's are very quiet um, already, but it's just, you'll notice a, a very um, a noticeable sound difference. Then you have your carpeting and then your parquet, your hard flooring. Um, personally, I always keep my vacuum on maximum suction setting. The only time I'm really changing it is if I'm doing upholstered surfaces or if I'm doing drapery or the blinds. So you always get the best power and the best clean, obviously on maximum suction. So. I'm gonna show you how to open your canister. So there's like a little lever and you are going to squeeze that and you're gonna pull, um, obviously you're gonna pull this up. I'm pulling this down. So you're gonna be opposite of me. And so inside here is your bag, your motor filter. And since this is a pet model, you have a charcoal filter pre-installed in your vacuum cleaner. And this charcoal filter is ideal for pet owners. It is going to mask all of those pet dander, that vacuum smell. Um, it has activated charcoal inside of it. Those little granules are gonna help filter your air. It's just a step below the HEPA filter in terms of filtration level. So it's still very good for allergy and asthma sufferers. But those activated charcoal granules are really gonna help with the smell. And um, if you're a pet owner, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So how we um, change your bag is your bag is 
your vacuum is going to take the GN bags. So the blue clip on your bags is gonna match the blue clip on the inside of your canister. So how you take that bag out is you're just gonna remove the collar of the bag. So this should be the only thing that you're going to be taking out of your machine. This clip stays installed on the inside of the machine. This keeps your bag at the perfect placement. So any, you know, all the debris that you're cleaning out of your home goes straight into your bag and then full through both of your um, levels of filtration. So if you, for some reason, accidentally pulled this out, totally fine. If you're able to reinstall it, please do that. If not, um, if, you, if it's broken, we do have replacement um, bag clips readily available. Please reach out to us. Your vacuum has two filters I mentioned. You have your charcoal filter and then you have your motor filter. And your motor filter is located at the base of your bag and there's a little grate and you're going to pull down. I am pulling up and it is gonna house your little spongy motor filter. And this motor filter, you're gonna need to remember to change it every four vacuum bags or every one box of bags. So this filter is going to help protect your motor and is very, very important. Some people don't remember to change it. So always get in the habit of changing your motor filter. So on your bag, the direction of the arrows on your bag is going to match the direction of arrows on your bag clip. So you're going to follow the same direction, make sure your bag is fully installed, and then just tuck the remainder of this in there and then close it up. So you're probably wondering where your specialty cleaning attachments are. And those, the great thing about the Mila C3 line is they're stored inside the body of your canister. So you're never gonna lose them again. So you just press this little black button that's gonna be right below where your hose connects. And this is where your dusting brush, your upholstery tool, and your crevice tool are. So these are really nice to have and the onboard tool storage is a game changer, I promise you. I'm notorious for losing my attachments. So when I got my C3, it was, um, it was really nice. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how to attach everything and I'm gonna show you a little bit how I store the machine. So I'm gonna turn the vacuum this way. So you're gonna lay it wheel side down. Now, the first time you go to install your hose, just keep in mind, it might be a little tough. You might have to kind of muscle your hose into the canister and that's okay. You're not going to break it. Um, the reason they do this is because you have to get your power to power your electric carpeting power head. So this has to be a very, very tight electrical connection. So squeeze and push. There you go. It's not pretty, but I promise it's going to be amazing. So then on your hose handle, there are the X and the O that I mentioned earlier. X is gonna turn this carpeting attachment on. So if you turn your vacuum on, and for some reason this is not, your power head is not turning on, make sure you have it on the X, section, uh, on the X um, setting. The O is gonna turn it off. So those, those bristles will never spin when it's on the O setting. So then we're going to attach our wand and then you can attach any cleaning attachment. I'm going to first attach our power head and I'm going to show you how to release it. And then I'm going to show you the nice thing about the Mila's. So this is your wand in the upright lock position. If you do the back lever, it'll release your wand from the upright lock position. And then this is your height setting. And then if you step on the back portion of this lever, step down, pull up, that'll release your wand. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you that you can attach this attachment to the base of your, your handle. And then you can also attach any flooring attachments to the base of your handle as well. This is really good if you have hard uh, surface stairs or if you have stairs that have carpeting on there, you can also attach your handle to the base of uh, your, sorry, you can attach your carpeting attachment to the base of your handle. So this is really nice um, feature that Mila has. So you can completely customize your entire cleaning experience. So if you also want to attach your cleaning attachments to the base of your handle, you can do that as well. So this, um, I'm gonna show you, there's um, a little lever, a reservoir. This is how I store my vacuum. 
So I store my vacuum like this. There's also little reservoirs on the sides of the vacuum. So you can stand your vacuum up and you can put your um, hard flooring attachment. It doesn't work with the power head, but you can slide your hard flooring attachment on the side as well and wrap your hose around your canister. It's just a nice way to kind of condense everything if you have to put it in a smaller space or if you want to stuff it in the closet, um, just kind of consolidates it a little bit a little better. So this model comes with, I, I kind of mentioned this before, my favorite Mila attachment. Um, this is your turbo attachment. So this is good if you have carpeted stairs. I prefer to clean carpeted stairs with this attachment as opposed to the power head because it's just a little bit more bulky with the power head. And then this is really, really good in cars on upholstered surfaces. This thing will, you're going to love it. So this is the Mila C3 cat and dog, the complete C3 cat and dog. If you have any questions on this model, please let us know. If there's anything that I failed to mention, please reach out to us. If you're missing anything, please let us know. We will do anything and everything to make you have, uh, make everything right. And if you would like to reach out to us, you can do that a couple different ways. You can reach out to us on our, our website. We have a live chat feature. You can give us a phone call or you can send us an email. I'm Lauren with Vacuum Cleaner Market and happy vacuuming!